Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I haven't been vlogging for like a week and a half because after I got back from Germany, I got back here with my friend and Ape and I started chilling, just you know, on mining again. And then for some reason, spring left and fall came. <laughs> so it was raining. We even had this magnificent snow. After that, yesterday was the first day that it was nice weather, but I was training my friend and her dog, so we were training that. And then after that, um, it's now today and it's finally awesome weather. And we're gonna go, we're gonna leave. I stayed here for about a month with my friend and I'm super thankful that he let me stay here. I really, I could really get adjusted to the van here. I've been trying to get some work done. You know, I've been unwinding because after the van build, I was like, Ugh. my energy was way up there and I was getting a little bit over, well, how do you say that? It was just too much. I had done so much in one, in like last month that I just really needed to unwind and relax. And I had my birthday and we went out to dinner and yeah, it was so much fun. And now today we are going to go to Drenthe. And because in Drenthe, which is a part of the Netherlands, we have Hunebedde. And I don't think I've ever seen, I just turned 36. I don't think I've ever seen a hunnebed. So I'm gonna go look for one and I wanna see it. And a hunnebed is a grave with massive stones on it. So when we get there, I'll probably find some signs about it. So I'll probably get back to you guys about what they are and how they work, cause I have no idea. So uh, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, say goodbye to everyone, get some groceries, and then we're gonna hit the road and go higher up um, north. <laughs> I was thinking, what is it? North into the Netherlands, to Drenthe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out there for a little bit. So I'll get back to you guys when we'll be on the road. We're here and because I didn't drove that much in Sophie yet, the first couple of miles she was like, I don't miles, kilometer, she was like, she was all, um, cold, so she warmed up very nicely. The solar panels are doing great, because because we had snow, the battery was a little bit lower than it had been before. And this is the place where we're at. It has these cute picnic benches, it has some child's things there, I don't know. And this is the place, it's really pretty. I like it a lot, but the, the drive in here, because it had been raining so much, that's very, very horrible. So I'm only going to go in and out once, I think. <laughs> I hope. I have groceries and everything, so I don't need to go anywhere. But I saw ponies in the field here. I'm going to show you. There's the cutest pony ever. I'm going to try and zoom in on her. Look at that. That is so cute. It's a really tiny baby pony. With spots. Oh, she's brand new. Look at the hind legs of the mommy. She's brand new, this baby. Leave the baby pony alone. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. So cute. So, my dogs are just here. I'm gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go for a walk because, as I've read, there are hunnebedde here. And, like I said, I've never seen those before. So we are in the Drenthe A, which is like a protected park or woods, which is being maintained maintained by 
um, Staats Bosbeheer. And whenever Staats Bosbeheer maintains something, it has really strict guidelines. So no dogs off the leash, no fire, all sorts of things. So if you ever go into a woods that is being maintained by Staats Bosbeheer, Staats Bosbeheer, that means they're very strict. So just do what the signs say, you won't get it in trouble. So if I let my dogs off leash here and I encounter a um, like ranger, I'm screwed. I'm going to get a ticket and I got three dogs. So it's going to be an expensive ticket. So um, I'm going to walk where are we are looking for a Hennebet. And it says that Hennebet D8 is somewhere around here. But the paths don't really have signs. So I'm just walking <laughs> and seeing where we'll go. Google Maps is helping me a lot. I have to say it's Monday, around 3 or 4 o'clock, I guess. And I always thought that Drenthe was very quiet. Now, maybe I went to a place that's not that quiet, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't, I wouldn't encounter anyone. For, my, for some reason, I just thought that in Drenthe, it's really quiet. But I guess that was wishful thinking. I've encountered a lot of people here, so let's see. We just started our walk, so... It's really cool to see how these woods all are totally different. I can't really distinct, how do you say that, make a distinction between the trees because it's winter. And I do know some trees, but I only know it because of the leaves. And it's harder to see now they're, well, it's not winter, it's spring, but it's harder to see now they are without leaves. But just the way they grow and the, the types of trees they have, they're all different in the woods that I go to. So this woods is completely different than the ones I've seen so far. This dog always likes to walk on her own pace. I have her on this leash that can roll up on its own. So she's back there. And I just tied her to my body so she can just go for five meters around us without me having to drag her all the time and I can't let her off leash her. So this is a good uh, compromise for us. So what we have to get used to now, I'm still wearing my hat, I should wear my sun hat, is that um, a week ago we had snow and minus temperatures. And right now it's about 19, 20 degrees. <laughs> this is so weird. This is uh, spring in the Netherlands, <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> so yeah, but we're enjoying ourselves. It's so beautiful here, but Durak and Bobby, Bobby has a, a short snout, so he gets warm very quickly. And Durak is older, so she has a little bit of trouble, you know, getting adjusted to the temperatures. Epidu is doing great. I'm seeing grave hills. <laughs> I was just walking here and I saw this little sign and I looked to the right and they're here. Let me show you the Hinnebet. It's so weird. I've been taught about them in school, but I've never seen one. Okay, you guys, so these are the Hinnebedda, and they are absolutely massive. Look how big this is. And they used to transport them here and then put them on top of each other, and they are a graft chamber. So they will put the people in there, put all the stones like this, put the people in there, and then cover it with dirt. But for some reason, the dirt has gone over time, and this is what's left. And it's so fascinating, and they are so big. It's so cool because they used to teach me this in school, but I've never seen one in real life. But this block is massive. I don't know how many people it took to get this here. Look how big it is. 
and they call them Hunebede because Hune is the word for giant and the people that came after the people that made this so they discovered this thought it was put here by giants <laughs> so that's why they're called Hunebede which basically means giant beds <laughs> but they are so awesome look how big this is it's just oh, it's such a massive stone it's so beautiful look at that it's so cool. I'm really happy I went here because I've never seen one in my life. They are only found in this area. It's just, it's like unimaginable how people did this, but they have discovered that it's fairly easy to do it with some sticks and a lot of people. You know, when you have a lot of people, you have a lot of strength, but it's so weird. And I'm so happy that I got to see it because it's a real prehistoric uh, landmark in the Netherlands and they are protected and it also says that please be respectful and I hope people do because this is so cool. Besides these amazing Hunebede, they also have Grafheuvels, which means grave hills, which are just basically in the landscape hills that they made. They put people in there either cremated in a urn or just people, sometimes one, sometimes more. Let me show you, they are here. Let me show you what they look like. And I've seen graph hills all over the Veluwe as well, but I never really looked at it that way because it's kind of creepy knowing that there are just people buried here or actually there are still remains left of people in these grave hills it's so weird but it's really if you think about it it's really beautiful that they just put people in these hills so they know where to find them i guess but they put people back where they came from so ashes to ashes dust to dust let me show you makes me wonder because in these periods that these Hunebed and Grave Hills were formed this was their way of putting people to rest but we do it different now of course so I'm wondering like I'm living in this age so what if like in, in how many millions of years later if people will find our graves with these stones and everything and they will be like well what's this these are pre prehistorical uh, graves <laughs> that would be so much fun because that's basically how this went right they made these hunebeda which was custom for them and now it's all different but these grave hills are really beautiful and i think it's a nice way to put people to rest there's one behind me Other than these um, grave hills and Hunebede that they have here, this woods is absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful. I do think that the trees are slightly less high than they are on the Velo. I don't know why that is, but it's just stunning. It's a stunning walk. I really recommend to go see Hunebede and then just go for a nice walk around them because it's so cool to think that people are living in these woods and then these were their customs and uh, I really like knowing a little bit more about our culture. Look at the look. And the weather has turned around, so it's beautiful weather again, so I'm enjoying the outdoors <laughs> instead of just being cooped up in the van. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. We're having a lot of fun again.
So that path actually took us over Grave Hill. <laughs> so that was kind of crazy thinking about that there's human remains under there. Yeah, it just makes me think like there's remains of everything everywhere you walk because there's remains of animals, there's remains of trees, there's just so much. I'm starting to whisper again. Oh, look at it. Here's another one. So we went to the Hunebed over sort of a main road. We went through the woods and then got back to the main road or the main walking path. And now we're going back through the woods and now we're seeing all these grave hills. It's just fascinating if you think about it. thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time showered wearing my bikini <laughs> and I had dinner I made a potato with a uh, vidloaf let me look up what vidloaf is <laughs> anyway I had that for dinner and I cleaned out the van and I or organized this thing in the front because when I was at Hus I just put everything in there and it's not really good there's some things in the van that I haven't had organized because at Hus's place I wasn't driving so I just put everything in there <laughs> that's just how I roll but I'm going to get it organized because it falls when I drive if I don't put it away the right place. I'm going to have an early night. It's only 6. But I'm really tired and I think I'm going to edit a little bit and just chill in the van. And just enjoy this the peace. I do hear the road but it's far away. When you're in the van you don't hear it so that's good. So I'm just going to walk the dogs one more time. Make sure that they did everything they need to do. And then I'm going to relax in the van. And I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm planning on driving up. More up, 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 up into the so up north in the Netherlands to the ocean or the sea is that the same I don't even know but I'm gonna go up and I'll get <laughs> I'll bring you guys along so I'll see you guys in the next video bye oh wait and in the meantime don't forget to say yes to new Avengers I haven't said it in a while but I do think it still counts so don't forget to say yes to new Avengers mm -hmm.